So let me walk you through some of the key aspects of what the president outlined today is his framework. Four trillion dollars in cuts, deficit reduction over a 12 year time period. Three dollars in spending cuts for every one dollar of tax increases. And he would again uh, allow the Bush tax uh, cuts to expire for those earning more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. He's also talking about four hundred billion dollars in defense cuts over the next 12 years. And I'm joined for some instant reaction here by someone who's been a key player in these budget talks, and that is the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee, Ken Conrad, the Democrat from North Dakota. You remember the deficit commission as well. The president stepping in here. What do you make of what he had to say? Was he ambitious enough? Uh, you know, I would go somewhat further in terms of deficit reduction, but for the most part, I thought he was right on target. Uh, largely embraced what the Fiscal Commission concluded. And remember, that's the only bipartisan agreement that's emerged anywhere in this town. Five Democrats, five Republicans, one independent, uh, backing a plan to reduce the debt by $4 trillion over 10 years, not over 12, as he uh, discussed. But uh, pretty much the same makeup in terms of spending cuts to revenue. And I thought uh, the president really hit the, the sweet spot here. Well, we had uh, Senator Johans of Nebraska on last hour, right after the president finished. First thing we heard from him, and we heard it already from John Boehner, you put taxes on the table, it's a non-starter for Republicans. Yeah, you know, remember the commission dealt with it somewhat differently than what the president just proposed. Uh, the commission talked about raising revenue, uh, not by the way the president did, but instead by tax reform. Uh, doing away with tax expenditures, using the savings to both lower rates and reduce the deficit, coupled with the spending cuts to produce $4 trillion of savings. So uh, somewhat of a difference there, but look, I think overall he's right on track. Let me ask you one final question. You've been involved in bipartisan negotiations with some of your colleagues to reach a deficit deal on your own. Does the president's speech today, his entry into this debate, does it help or hurt your efforts? But we'll see. Uh, we're meeting again later today. That's the group of six, three Democrats, three Republicans that are in large part trying to capture the recommendations of the Fiscal Commission so that we do have, at the end of the day, a bipartisan agreement. Because after all, nothing is going to happen here unless the two sides come together. 2011, can we get a deal this year? We really need to get a deal this year. It's incredibly important for the country. When we're borrowing 40 cents of every dollar we spend, we are hurtling towards a financial cliff. And the faster we deal with it, the better. All right, Ken Conrad, as always, appreciate it. Thanks very much.